Hello, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. Boss Reacts this video by Chad Munch. This is Liars Bad Excuses. Listen, these Liars compilations have been hilarious. <laughs> that be saying all this hyper crazy stuff. It's like, bro, you, you could have thought of a better lie before you chose to say this shit out loud. Anyway, let's see uh, their bad excuses in this compilation. Let's watch. I'm, I'm a size five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five. I found a size nine pair of underwear in his truck. I don't know where those came. She's lying about this. Now, she's lying about now this. Your Honor, I'm a size five. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, I don't, I, now, I, one of the, we, both of those statements can't be true. This, Is it? You don't know how they got there, or it's not true that they were there. Was, Which one was? I, I they was were driving, there, weren't now, they? I could have been driving down the street with the one with the music up. Somebody, a lady, might have slingshot them through the back. Are you serious? Did Did you have sex with her? Hell no, Steve. It can't be no way. She had to take a while to sleep. She had to take what while you were asleep? The dick? Yeah, Johnson, man. <laughs> if you don't get... She had sex with you while you were sleeping. Had to. I mean, I, I mean... You, like, you're so with this funny shaped ass head, ain't nobody raped you in your you sleep. Wait, That's not that. even... I've never heard that before. Yeah. Never. It can happen. It can happen. Yeah. To who? To anybody. To any man. <laughs> About the thing he said, well, if it did happen, she took advantage of him and he was totally asleep. I can't believe that story. Me either. Like, I feel like if he was asleep, then she did try to take advantage of him. He would have woke up. Yeah. So did you sleep with her? No. Chris? He did. You the daddy. You are the father. <laughs> Catch me laying in the bed with another woman. Okay? Now, the way that happened, when she came in, I did not know the woman was in the bed, and I put, I, Your Honor, that's what he told me to. That's the look I gave him to. Your Honor, I had a roommate, and she was up with him. I went to sleep before both of them. So when I woke up, matter of fact, if she, if she gonna tell you, I think I saw this before. Like it actually, if you watch the whole clip, told you, I woke up with a baffled look. Like, yeah, what are you like talking said, about? Why are you tripping, man? Like, why are you <laughs> tripping? I'm really like, what are you talking about? And I tried to go back to sleep until she came. She left, and then she came back in, and then that's when you know I rolled over, and then I see this other one. I'm like, yo, are you serious? I actually <laughs> believe him. What the fuck? I'll talk about it at the end. What the fuck is Of course, I'm gonna think right away. Why are you with your shirt off? I'm a fitness trainer, by the way. 
I have a I have a These tendency of working out with people nonstop where I like to work out and keep my body. I got a trainer shape. too, but I never been over his house in my bra and panties. Really? <laughs> well, see, that's that's what see that's what happened. We we really was working bad. out. Boy, we got a little awesome. to a point to where you I just like make right. sure your body is really comfortable when you work out because every time when you work out. You gotta make sure your body is. So why have her in her underwear? Mr. Yeah. Johnson, that he is, is so busted. busted. She's a stupid ass liar. One time she came home with her neck just full of hickeys and. Oh. Oh. And uh, the excuse she gave me was a dog bit her. Girl. She she was there and she said that she, the guy was gone. The girl was there. The guy's girlfriend. Her yeah. friend's girlfriend, and yeah. she was hanging out with the girlfriend. Oh, the sheets were off the bed because they were doing laundry. <laughs> Jerry likes that. And uh, the thermostat was broken. That's why she didn't have her clothes on. <laughs> this. This is creative this is thinking. Creative. That is not. She that's took so off her clothing because the thermostat was broken. Yes. Oh, this is from the catch a pedophile. Do me a favor and just tip. have a sheet right over there on the other side of the bar. How's it going? All right. And how old is this girl you came here to meet? I believe she's 18. Well, you know she's 13. You can say that. Okay. But I have the transcript of the conversation. Okay. And right up top, she says she's 15. Gross. Okay. Then you say, you oh, like you're not a cop, that. are you? Mm -hmm. And why were you worried that it might have been a police officer? I ask everybody. Two voices get loud. Just out of the habit? Yeah. <clears throat> well, doesn't that indicate that you're worried that if it was a police officer, you could get in trouble for what you were doing? No, because I asked that to everybody. His voice everybody. is so ugly. So you're spending your time on the internet at night asking people whether or not they're cops, whether or not they sleep naked, whether or not you can perform yeah. sex acts on them. I don't remember seeing the age. Then why were you so worried about whether or not this was a police setup? Because I asked that to everyone. It's really a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. I really did not intend on anything, really. Maybe meet to her, talk to her. People are sick, bro. But come on. It's the alleged murder-for-hire plot that went viral. There were shots fired. Cameras rolling as South Florida right, police didn't... tell Dahlia DiPolito a big, bold lie. Is your husband Michael? Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, ma'am. He's been killed. But investigators say her reaction <laughs> is a lie, too. Because days earlier, Dahlia was caught on camera allegedly hiring an undercover cop to kill Mike, her oh. husband, in just six months. You know, he gets to it ahead. They hustled Dahlia off to this interrogation room for questioning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another Cut. recorded moment. Are you sure that you don't know anybody who'd want to kill your husband? You wouldn't want to kill him. Not at all. It's almost like something out of Law and Order. There's no more games with you and I. Now we're going to get down to serious business. They bring in Officer oh, William they bring him in. the supposed hitman from the car. Get over here. How the fuck you find him? You know who this guy oh, is? You've never seen him before. I've never seen him before. She just stared at him. Um, she said she didn't know him. And then call it a resurrection. Oh my god. He's alive. Police have another surprise for Dahlia Tipolito. Here, please. Yeah. Come here. She sees her husband, and he's lost. The show Cops captures this moment as well. Come here, please, come here. Oh my God, it is so Like, come here, please. You're going to jail today for solicitation of murder. You're under arrest. Did you hear what I just told you? You kept saying, I didn't do anything. Please, I didn't do anything. Was that all you could think of to say? They were accusing me of trying to have my husband killed, and I, I, I didn't. Didn't do anything? Yeah, what about the hitman? What about all those tapes? Nobody's going to be able to point a finger at me. Did you want your husband dead? No, absolutely not. Did you hire a hitman to kill your husband? No. You know, he gets to it ahead. That's it. Who is Dahlia DiPolito? Understanding, sweet, and yeah, compassionate. Sure. A lot tougher than what I look. I know you oh, really know, like, oh, what a cute little girl, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, that, that, that. At her 
at trial, Dahlia's defense attorney arguing Mike wasn't the victim of anything, but instead an accomplice in a scheme to launch them both into stardom. It was a stunt. It was a hoax to capture the attention of someone in reality TV. According to Dahlia, she and Mike if together became obsessed with anymore. reality TV. They said if they could do it, there's no reason why, you know, we can't do it. The jurors deliberated for just 90 minutes before returning with a guilty <laughs> verdict. <laughs> that is the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> this lawyer really was like, all right, Ben, let's say that you want to be on reality TV. No, no, it's too much evidence against her. That is a hot ass mess. Her list was irritating me. Um, but yeah, these people are a fucking lie. Like, why are you lying? And these are terrible lies at that. Like, at least, you know, come up with something more creative. Like, this is terrible. Interesting though. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.